Welcome to the easiest recipe series on TikTok, a series where I show you how to cook with lots of shortcuts, which makes it easier for people who have anxiety around cooking, chronic depression, chronic illness that causes chronic pain, disabilities that keep you from standing for long periods of time, and people like me who just don't want to be in the kitchen all day. And if you don't like any of the ingredients that I'm using or the methods in which I'm using to cook them, then you can scroll on and kick rocks. Okay, it is Meatless Monday today and we are going to be making a vegan baked ziti. Well, it's vegan until we bake it, but you can make it vegan when you bake it. You'll see. Someone asked me the other day why the only vegetables I use are frozen peppers and onions. And number one, that's not true. But number two, it's because they're delicious. So to the trolls, we are using those again, along with four cans of lentils. Lentils make a great sub for ground meat in most recipes. And another one of my faves, this zesty spaghetti sauce seasoning, along with a can of Hunt's garlic and herbs pasta sauce as always give that a good little stir and then we're going to pop it in the oven at 400 degrees for an hour and a half someone else asked why I always throw things in the oven rather than cooking them on the stovetop and for me I feel like it gives it a better flavor when it slow roasts in the oven and it goes along with the not standing over the stove for long periods of time vibe you could definitely do it on the stovetop you just have to watch it so obviously this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. I'm gonna give it a good stir. And I actually tossed in rigatoni instead of ziti because I like the big noodles, but you could use ziti or rigatoni. It is up to you. And this is what I was talking about when I said it's vegan up to a certain point. I topped it with regular mozzarella cheese, but you could totally top it with some dia shreds and get a similar less melty gooey result but you know look how satisfyingly gooey the mozzarella makes it though 